If you follow the channel here, you know that I currently have the Evolution X custom ROM installed on my Google Pixel 8. So today, I want to continue this series by detailing every single customization feature offered by this specific ROM. All of these are conveniently included in a menu within the settings application, which you can find here labeled Evolver. Once in this menu, you can see there are a number of categories to choose from. So let's start at the top here and then make our way down the list. The first category that we see here is labeled themes and it offers a number of ways that we can customize the look of our device. Right off the bat, we have the ability to customize the Monet theme engine with things like theme style, color source. We have sliders for luminance and chroma factor, as well as toggles to make luminance and chroma selection affect the secondary color and make luminance and chroma selection affect the background color. We can also change the system font. We can change the clock font on the lock screen. We have the option to change the style of our system icons or the icon shapes. We can choose a different style for our signal icon as well as our Wi-Fi icon. And the last thing down here, we have the option to change the style of our navigation bar icons. As we move on to the lock screen category, there aren't many features for us here, but we can choose to display charging stats, including current, voltage, wattage, and temperature details on the lock screen. This feature is enabled by default, but if you don't like seeing it on the lock screen, then you can turn it off from here. Now let's dive into the status bar category where we have a lot more things to play with, including the ability to adjust the display brightness by swiping across the status bar. We can choose which icons we want to see in the status bar and which icons that we don't want to see. There's an option to use colored launcher icons for notification icons that you see in the status bar. And we can enable a feature that will include an unread badge indicator on those icons within the status bar. Lastly, down here at the bottom, we can choose to disable the microphone and camera status indicators if we wanted. We can disable the location status indicator, and we can do the same for when the display is being projected as well. Sadly, as we dive into the quick settings category, there aren't any features included in the Android 15 build of Evolution X for the Pixel 8. However, that may be different for your device. And the same is true for the notifications option as well. This is something that I've seen from various custom ROMs where some devices get special features while others do not. It's usually up to the device maintainer to get those features up and running, but sometimes there are hardware or software specific reasons why they can't be added. In other instances, it's just a time issue with the developer needing more time to get things working properly. And we see the same thing for the power menu and the button categories here. Both of these are blank on the Pixel 8 version of the Evolution X Android 15 build. And I'm hoping that future over the air updates are able to get those features up and running on this device. 
Last up, we have a miscellaneous category where we have a number of component spoofing features right up here at the top, including a built-in play integrity fix, a way to check our current play integrity values, and a way to trick the device into thinking that the internal storage is encrypted. We have app-specific spoof toggles for the Google Play Store, Google Photos, a fix for Snapchat, and a way to trick games into thinking that you have a device that can unlock higher FPS in games. Just be careful if you decide to use something like the Google Photos spoof toggle, as you don't want to get caught and have your entire Google account banned for violating the company's terms of service. Heading back into the miscellaneous category, we have a toggle that allows us to downgrade system apps, although be careful here, as downgrading can cause force crashes or the possibility of data loss as a result. And we have a toggle that removes the screenshot and screen recording blocks that some apps have implemented. I would have liked to have had access to more features within those blank categories, but you can see that the types of customization options that are available with the Evolution X custom ROM are here. If you have a phone with this ROM installed and those categories are not blanked out, then please share those details down in the comment section below. And if you could, remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel as it really helps me out.